Good evening. You're welcome to our lecture on codets. Our lecture will be on the classification of mammals. Earlier, we had discussed about the introductory part. We had defined mammals and also looked at their distinctive features, their general characteristics. So I want to look at the classification of these mammals into various subclasses and others. There are three subclasses of mammals, and these three subclasses are the subclass Prototheria, the subclass Metatheria, and the subclass Eutheria. The subclass Metatheria consists of egg-laying mammals that are called monotremes. Several species of these monotremes are found only in Australia, and they include the Platypus and the Echidna. The subclass Metatheria consists of marsupial mammals or marsupials. They are also called marsupials or pouched mammals. And these mammals are found in Australia and South America. Typical examples of these uh, marsupial mammals are the kangaroos. We also have the subclass Eutheria, which includes majority of contemporary species of mammals. And these organisms are distributed in all continents of the earth. They include the humans and other placental mammals, like the rats, the goats, the cats, the lions, the, the antelopes, and virtually all mammals belong to, the majority of the mammals belong to this subclass Eutheria. Now the subclass Prototheria. Prototheria is a taxonomic group or taxon to which the other monotremata belongs. Now monotremata is the only extant order in the subclass Prototheria. Most of the animals in this group are extinct. The egg-laying monotremes are represented by the Platypus and several species of Echidna. The other monotremata or the monotremes. I want to discuss about the monotremata, the other monotremata. The other monotremata consist of egg-laying mammals, but these egg-laying mammals have food and milk. So even if they lay eggs, they still have other characteristics of mammals, like food, which is a type of hair, and they also have milk, they produce milk. However, these mammals do not have nipples like other mammals that have mammary gland, glands that have nipples. Their mammary glands just secrete milk onto the four from which the babies lick it. So the babies only lick the four, the, they only lick the milk that's in the four of these organisms, the, the mother. These monotremes have one posterior opening for their digestive urinary and genital tracts. They have just one opening. So it is the same opening that is used to discharge feces. It is also the same uh, uh, opening that is also used to urinate. And that same opening is also used for sexual intercourse. Hence the class is now call, is called the, sub, the subclass is referred to as the subclass monotremata. It's derived from two words. Mono means one and trema means whole. So they have just one hole, just a single hole in their posterior end. Now here is a figure, a picture of the short beaked echidna. And here also is the Western long beaked echidna. Now we have uh, the, in the other monotremata, we have two families that we want to talk about that contains the, that consists of the Platypus and the Echidna. The Platypus belong to the family Ornithorhynchidia. The Platypus, also known as the duck built Platypus, is a semi aquatic egg laying mammal endemic to Eastern Australia 
including Tasmania. They are semi-aquatic egg-laying mammals and they are endemic to Eastern Australia, which is, part, uh, which, which is uh, which also consists of the part of Australia known as Tasmania. Together with the four species of Echidna, it is one of the five extant species of monotremes, the only mammals that lay egg instead of giving birth. It is the sole living representative of this family Ornithorhynchidia and the genus Ornithorhynchidcus. Though a number of related species have been found in fossil records. The Platypus is common in waterways of Eastern Australia, where it generally feeds on bottom dwelling invertebrates, but also takes an occasional frog, fish, or insect at the water's surface. They sometimes feed on frogs, fish, and insects at the water's surface. This shy creature forages most actively from dusk to dawn, sheltering during the day in burrows dug into the stream banks. So it it's forages from the morning to night, but it, and at night it burrows into the shore where it's, it stays until the next morning. Now I want to look at some other features of this platypus. It is exquisitely adapted for its aquatic lifestyle, having a flattened torpedo-like body. Okay. One of the features that enables it to adapt to aquatic lifestyle is that it has a flattened torpedo-like body. And it also has a dense waterproof wall and strong front limbs used for swimming as well as digging. So the adaptation includes a torpedo shaped body, a dense waterproof wall, and strong front limbs, which are used for swimming as well as digging. Even the head is streamlined. Each ear being housed in a groove together with a small eye. This is the, the platypus. Look at the, the flattened beak and the torpedo shaped body, the thick foot, and the feet are modified into flipper like structures that enable them to swim in water. Now, I want to look at the subclass Marsupilia, the marsupials. The subclass Marsupilia. Masupilia is also called the subclass Metatheria. The subclass Masupilia or Masupios or Metatheria is a mammalian group characterized by premature birth and continued development of the newborn in a pouch on the mother's abdomen while attached to the nipples on the lower belly of the mother. So the offsprings are given back to prematurely and then they are accommodated in a pouch and they get attached to the nipples and constantly feed on the mother until they are matured enough to be independent. Their young cannot live without further development in the mother's pouch. The word marsupia comes from marsupium, the Latin word for horse. Masupi means a big pouch, a bag or a pouch. It means a bag or a pouch. The pouch or marsupium is a flap of skin covering the nipples. These mammals lack placenta. The marsupial mammals lack placenta to nurture the embryo until it is matured enough for birth. Examples of marsupials include the kangaroos, the wombats, the opossums, and the koalas. There are 
nearly 300 species and seven others. The largest and most varied assorted assortment of marsupials, some 200 species, is found in Australia, New Guinea, and neighboring islands, where they make up most of the native mammals found there. I want to classify the mammals and the subclass marsupiala, the marsupials. Marsupials include mammals of the order, the prodontia, which consists of the kangaroos, the koalas, the wombats, the, opos the opossums, and the kings. Then the second order is the order Dasyoromorpha, yeah, which consists of the carnivorous marsupials. We also have the other Paramelemorphia, which consists of the bandicoots and the bilbies. We also have the other Notorictimorphia, which consists of the marsupial moles. Then we have the microbiotheria, which consists of the monito. And we also have the other Didelphimorphia, which consists of the opossums, and the palsy tuberculata, which consists of the shrew or rat and the opossums. Now I want to make progress to discuss about the other diprodontia, which consists of the kangaroos, the koalas, the wombats, the possums, and the kings. Diprodontia is an order of about 125 species of marsupials. The key anatomical features, uh, the two anatomical features in combination identify diprodontia. Now, one of these anatomical features is that members of the order are first diprodont, meaning two front teeth. They have a pair of large recumbent incisors on the lower jaw. So that's one feature. They have two front teeth, okay, on the lower jaw, two front teeth on the lower jaw. The second trait distinguishing the prodons is a syndactyly, syndactyly, which means that they have a exhibit a fusing of the second and the third digits of the foot up to the base of the claws, which leaves the claws themselves separate. Digit five is usually absent and digit four is often greatly enlarged. The products are restricted to Australasia. They are restricted to Australasia. Now, this is a kangaroo and the other diprodontia. And see, the offspring is carried in a pouch. Usually, they give birth to the offspring premature. Now, here is a Virginia opossum and its offspring. It is also a marsupial mammal and this other, the prodontia. Now here is a picture that's showing the pouch of Virgin, Virginia opossum and the offsprings. Now look at the offsprings inside the, the mother's pouch being attached to the nipple, being burned prematurely. They remain inside that pouch until they are matured. Now here is a figure that also shows the diprodont or two front teeth. Okay, they have two front teeth. That's one distinctive feature of the uh, marsupials and this and the other diprodontia, the marsupial mammals and the other diprodontia. So this is the uh, kangaroo. It's an island kangaroo. Okay, and they also possess a syndactyly which, is, which means that their feet are fused. It means 
a fusion of the second and third digits of the food. Now I want to look at the second order and the second suborder and the subclass Marsupiella is called the order Dasyromorphia, which are carnivorous marsupials. The order Dasyromorphia, meaning hairy tail, comprises most of Australian carnivorous marsupials, including quolls, donuts, the numbat, the Tasmanian devil, and the Thalassian. Now, this, the, this, the, this, Romorphians move on four legs, unlike the kangaroos that we have to skip. These organisms, they move on four legs. That's to say that they are quadrupedal. Now, they also have pointed and generally long snouts. They have long tails. That's uh, the word, the seomorphia means hairy tail. And they have four toes on the front, on the front feet, and four or five toes on the hind feet. And many have a clawless toe on the hind feet. The seromorphians have polyprudent dentition. They have polyprudent dentition, which means that they have multiple lower incisor teeth as opposed to diprodont dentition with two lower incisors, with four upper and three lower incisors. Now, the, this is a desiromorphan, which belongs to the sub, the other desiromorpha. Okay, it is called the tiger quote. Thanks for listening. In our next lecture, we'll look at the placental mammals and the subclass uh, Eutheria, okay, also called placentalia.